Check. You are now live. Hey, you guys. I'm Kelly Hodges with the Villa Collins Studio. It's 1 o'clock on Instagram, and I thought I'd stop by and say hello and talk to you about um, the fine art that we have in our portfolio and for sale on our website, villacollins.com. Today, um, Chris, our cousin in North Carolina, she no, was? she's in New Jersey. In they New have. Jersey asked about landscapes, and I thought it might be a good day to hop online and talk about landscapes. So this is one that my mom, Barbara, did, and she just finished a couple weeks ago. Um, it is a snow scene or a winter scene. It's something that she's been working on for a while, and the thing that I enjoy, much like Amy's artwork, is... It starts out one way and then finishes and continues and progresses. Um, so this is kind of a meandering stream and uh, snow scene with some winter trees and evergreens. It's a cool color palette. And although there isn't any silver or metallic in it, it has that quality, that shimmery um, kind of feeling. Maybe it's because I know that it's snow that I feel that way. Um, they're kind of dark, overcast skies. It's obviously really nice with um, a neutral background. Mom, what's the color of these walls? Fog mist, Benjamin Moore, OC31 fog mist. Uh -huh. um, and you can see the neutral palette of the walls, the fireplace, the chair, um, and this kind of has that same serene, cool feeling. I'm um, just key in on the fireplace bricks a minute around the hearth, which uh -huh. is kind of fun. They were a mixture. Remember yesterday or at one point or the day before we talked about that fern green? Yeah. Um, and they have that palette in there yeah. to go with the fog mist. I liked how this was kind of a, um, I don't know, not quite so fancy of a pattern, but it still made it. Absolutely, pretty, yeah. In that it lightened it and made it They were. They were originally red brick, and this was a, um, a good way, again, to bring them a little more contemporary, less traditional. Yeah. Um, okay, so this is a horizontal piece. It fits nicely over the mantle here. It would also go nicely in a, um, over a credenza or a sideboard in a dining room. Um, it's mounted again. Let me backtrack. This is acrylic on canvas. It is. Acrylic on canvas and it's mounted in a floating frame for that modern feeling, again, with the silver leaf um, frame. And the dimensions are um, 17 and 3 quarters by 41 and 3 quarters. So it's a nice, I don't know, it's a nice size. It's beautifully over the fireplace. I think that's why you made it over the fireplace. I did. I had that. Um, uh -huh. Originally, there were some sconces on each side as well. Right. Candle sconces. Uh -huh. They are now gone, but the uh, the frame the frame is still there. Right. Um, as far as color goes, so when you see artwork on the website, I think it's difficult because everybody's monitor looks a little bit different, and everybody's phone or whatever shows the color differently. So I pulled out my fan deck, my Benjamin Moore fan deck, trusty Benjamin Moore, and, um, and pulled some colors here. Now, this was done in artist colors. So these aren't exactly the colors, but they're the feeling that's in here. So as far as this blue-gray color, I'm looking at 2135. Um, and it's not precise, but it's kind of, it's just that feeling in there. Um, 2140, Gray Horse is a favorite color of ours. I Love think. that one. Didn't we do that for Dana McCormick? I think her? so. Yeah. Um, Dana McCormick is our website designer, so this is a, a favorite color of ours because we love our website. Uh, Light Khaki is 2148, and that's, that's not exactly in here but it's sort of in here the stone path where the mm -hmm. um, snow melts it leaves, leaves that grass yeah and then this golden color just kind of I don't know where I feel this is exactly but it it feels like it's in here somewhere 
Well, you know, I think because of the shadows, even you can tell the sun is out and there's a little bit of golden on the uh, snow. Yeah, on the branches. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, so I thought that was a pretty palette. Um, and... Ian, what does it look like with the light out? Will you flip the light for me and I'll see if the colors look any different? crazy how the light will change something. The so, light does change. That sort of is a blue spruce that you're looking at, but you can see that the trees have the, um, a, a yellow ochre in there, actually. My artist colors were yellow ochre, burnt sienna, and um, ultramarine blue, French ultramarine. Very wispy in the back. The trees and the fields in the back are just very hazy. So does anybody have any questions? I'm happy to answer them right now. And if I end up tuning out before I get them answered, I'll post them in the comments below. Um, right now we are in a north facing room on the north side of the house. And there's two windows here and, and actually um, the other light that you're getting from this side is from the dining room where there's windows on the far side of the southern side of the house. So they're kind of cool colors. So, um, you know, it makes this room a little bit cooler and more relaxed and not quite so high energy. Um, it's nice to have candlelight in here to warm up the room or even just the overhead lights, which have changed um, the color of the artwork. So tomorrow, I'm gonna do one more piece, another favorite of mine. Is tomorrow Saturday? Yeah, let's wait till Monday. Let's wait till Monday. Okay, Monday I'll come back and I'm going to talk about another favorite piece of mine that Amy did that's super modern. It's that color field kind of feeling again, um, but a little bit glitzy and a little bit Brown Davis in style. So I like the, the large scale of it, the big color of it, um, and kind of the sophisticated shimmer that it has. So we'll see you guys on Monday at one o'clock, have a lovely weekend. Hopefully you are celebrating in some fashion, um, whether it's Passover or Easter or just springtime. Um, and we'll see you guys on Monday at one. Now just look at your picture. And we say end, end now.